What is up, Aquamaniacs? Welcome to part two of aquarium plant DIY tissue culturing. In the last video, I went over how to make DIY plant tissue culture medium and sterilize it. In this video, I'm gonna go through how I personally sterilize my plants, put them into the media cups, and get basically zero contamination rates. I'm not using anything very fancy here. I made a still air box with a big Tupperware container. I dremeled holes in the sides just where my hand can go through and I sterilize the inside and that's where I do all my work. The past two times I've done this, I've had zero contamination, so it's a pretty effective way to do it. I'll put a link in the description of all the supplies you'll need. The first thing is sterilizing the water. You want to use distilled water. I'm using reverse osmosis water right here with a deionizer so it's zero TDS water. Uh, distilled water works just fine too. I've got four mason jars here with the water. I just, I'm going to screw the lids on not very tight just kind of snug and then put them into the pressure cooker. You don't want your jars to touch the bottom of the pressure cooker so right here I just have some rags in the bottom of the pressure cooker. They also make canning racks that's really good for this. Next, I fill up the pressure cooker with water. I have the water level about a little more than a quarter of the way up the jars. I put kind of a paper towel border above the jars where I'm gonna put my supplies to sterilize. Using aluminum foil is better for paper towels for this, but I was out of aluminum foil. Every item that I'm using inside of the still air box, I want sterilized and I wrap it in aluminum foil just so when I open the pressure cooker it doesn't get contaminated and I can slip it right out of the aluminum foil and into the still air box. Right here I'm using paper towels because I was out of aluminum foil. It worked but I recommend aluminum foil. So here I'm just wrapping all the tools that I'm going to use inside of the still air box. We got forceps, a strainer, a small jar that we're gonna put rubbing alcohol in and put the forceps into it. So I got the tools up on the top. I also got a graduated cylinder in there. Also adding this little milliliter measurer and two little Tupperwares of distilled water. Just so I have some small shaking containers of sterilized water inside of the box. It's also good to have some sterilized paper towels for working inside of the still air box. What I do is I take some paper towels, fold them up, put some aluminum foil around them, and then sterilize them that way. That way I can just move them into the still air box later. Next, I put the heat up on max until my pressure cooker reaches 15 PSI. Once it hits 15 PSI, I turn down the heat about halfway just to keep that level temperature. And then let it pressure cook for 15 minutes on 15 PSI. Now some pressure cookers don't have this PSI meter on top. So when the metal thing on the top is kind of shaking back and forth, you know you're at about that temperature. Old school ones have this metal thing on the top. So when that's kind of shaking, you know you're around 15 PSI. So you just want to keep that continually rocking back and forth for 15 minutes. Pull the pressure cooker off of the stove and let it cool down. I let the pressure cooker cool down for a full day until I do my tissue culturing. So this is the still air box. It's just a big Tupperware container that I dremeled two holes in to fit my hands through and I taped some Ziploc bags to the front. So the name of the game here is sterilization. So I spray down the table and my whole work area with rubbing alcohol and wipe it down. Next, I spray inside of this still air box. I'm using 90% alcohol here, 70% works too. So I spray down the inside of the still air box and then wipe it down. Also the inside of the lid. Right here I'm taking out some sterilized paper towels and spraying a little more rubbing alcohol in there and wiping it down from the outside. Before I put my hands in there I spray those down with rubbing alcohol and 
you know, get that everywhere, sterilize my hands before I put them in. You can also use hand sanitizer for this. So if I would have had aluminum foil, I would have wrapped some other paper towels and some aluminum foil just to have those in the still air box while I'm doing the tissue culture. They're really good to have, but I didn't have that at the time. So I used my paper towels to wipe down the inside of the box. Now I put my tools into the still air box. Spray down my hands with rubbing alcohol again, and then take out the tools that have paper towels around them. And quickly, but without making swift movements, I take the paper towel off and put the items into the box. Like I said earlier, it's better to use aluminum foil around these items instead of paper towels, but that's all I had at the time and it worked. Anytime I take my hand out and put it back into the still hair box, I'm using rubbing alcohol to disinfect. Pour some rubbing alcohol into a small jar that you sterilized because that's where you should put your forceps. Put the forceps into the rubbing alcohol jar. Now for the plate, I have a paper towel on the top. I just take it off pretty quick and move it right into the box. So I didn't have any aluminum foil to wrap some paper towels around to put them inside of the still air box, but at this time I would put those paper towels into the still air box and spray that paper plate down and wipe it. Next I'm taking one of our jars of water, spraying it down with rubbing alcohol and putting that into the still air box. Now for sterilizing our plants. I'm gonna wipe down the sterilization area with rubbing alcohol and grab my plants. So right here I have an immersed form of an aquarium plant called AR. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name, but it's a pretty popular aquarium plant. Um, I'm growing it immersed because immersed plants actually have a lower contamination rate and they don't succumb to bleach as much as submersed plants. Obviously, the bigger the plant, the more chance of contamination you have because it's a bigger surface area. But also, the bigger the plant, the more power you're bringing into the tissue culture. So you want to kind of find the right size plant you want to try to put in the tissue culture. A smaller plant, you're not bringing as much energy into the tissue culture to grow, but it can still be established and grow later. I also have these two aquatic plants I found in a river. I don't know what they are. If you know, let me know in the description. So I'm going to sterilize these plants too. I'm going to run these plants under my faucet for a minute or two just to rinse them. And then cut off that bottom part of this plant. Right here we're making a 1% bleach solution, just 1 milliliter of bleach, 99 milliliters of water. I'm using the reverse osmosis water for this, you can use distilled. And also two drips of liquid antibacterial hand soap. You can also use dishwashing soap, you want to use something without any scents in it. The actual laboratory stuff you can use for this is called tween, but soap works just fine. Put the 1% bleach solution in a jar, add the plants, and shake for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, I throw the plants into a strainer. And then rinse it off with distilled water. This is an optional step. In plant tissue culture, sometimes people do an alcohol dip for five seconds. Right here, I'm just pouring a little bit of rubbing alcohol over the plants and washing it off really good. Next, I make a 10% bleach solution. So I have 10 milliliters of bleach here and 90 milliliters of water. So this is a general protocol amount of bleach to use for sterilization. You can mess with these bleach levels if you're getting contamination. You can try to shake the jar for longer, add a little more bleach. I wouldn't go over 10%, but you can even try less bleach if your plants are getting damaged from too much bleach. 
Some plants are more sensitive than others. And then I add about a drip of the antibacterial hand soap. The soap helps break the surface tension and helps sterilization a lot. I add in the plants. Set an alarm for 15 minutes and shake this for 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes is up and I've shaken the plants, I spray down my media cups with rubbing alcohol and put those into the container. I'm just doing three cups for this video, you can obviously do a lot more. Next I spray down the jar that the plants and our bleach solution are in and then put that into the still air box. Next I spray down my hands really good and get to work. I open my sterilized water. Here I have a scalpel blade, my actual scalpel piece that you put it on rusted, so I'm just using the blade. This is completely sterile when I open it, so I don't have to sterilize that, I just sterilize the outside. So next I rinse my plants. Pour out as much bleach solution as I can. And pour in some sterilized water. Right here I touched the plants, probably not the best idea, but I didn't get any contamination. I sterilized my hands really well. You can also wear gloves for this too. I was out of gloves as well. Next I pour my plants into my little Tupperware of sterilized water and shake that. We're just trying to get all the bleach off of the plants. Here I'm taking my other sterilized water and pouring the plants into there and shaking that up. Looking back on this, I probably could have rinsed them a little better. You know, poured out some more water and then poured in some more sterilized water that I have in that jar on the side. So I'm using the underside of these lids because I know they're completely sterile because I just opened them. You can also use the plate. If I would have had sterilized paper towels, I would have sprayed down the plate with rubbing alcohol, wiped that down and used that. But since I didn't have paper towels, I used the top of the lids because I knew they were sterile. Next, I take my little scalpel blade and just cut off the tip of the stem because this has been affected by bleach. Take the media cup, crack it open.
put the forceps in the rubbing alcohol so it's sterile. And quickly grab the plant and just get that stem into the media. Right here, I just let any liquid that's in the media cup out, just crack the lid and pour it out. Liquid seems to kill the plants if there's too much. And we're done with that one. Right here, I'm grabbing my other plant, rinsing it off a little bit in the sterilized water. Same thing, cutting the tip of the stem off that's been affected by bleach. Grabbing my media cup, crack it open. Same thing, just getting that stem into the media without trying to touch the forceps to the media. This plant was really small, it's a little difficult. And then pour out the liquid and snap the lid on. That's it, now our plants are tissue cultured. Here's the plants we sterilized today with some plants I sterilized last week. So to grow these out, I have them on a rack above my second aquarium. Not as nice as my other aquarium. On a notepad so it's insulated and I just have a regular aquarium light above it, pretty close. And I'm just growing them out there. I really like the H deformis in the middle here, it's doing well. It's in a multiplication medium. So it'll be cool to see what these do. I'll make some update videos later on how these are doing, if they get contaminated or not. But this H deformis is a week old and it's doing pretty good. Now, obviously this is not the most sterile place to grow out the plants above an aquarium with, you know, a lot of bacteria. Not the best place to put these, but what I've noticed is once they're in the cup, it's harder for them to get sterilized. What I could do is put, you know, a Tupperware over the top or with something on the bottom just to make it more sterile in there if you mess up on the still air box part you'll get contamination but after that you're pretty much in the clear not to say i don't want to make a better spot for these to put more sterilized spot which i'm gonna do but this is just what i have set up for now and this aquarium down here is basically abandoned in future videos i'm going to be cleaning this out turning it into a high tech just like my other tank well that's about it for this video Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit that sub button, that like button. In the next videos, I'll be updating my other aquarium. It's growing really well. I'm super stoked on that. Uh, very minimal algae. Plants are growing great. So we're going to keep that going. And I'm also going to turn this tank we just saw into a high-tech farm tank and turn that into a tank that's just as good as my other tank. So I'll be cleaning this out and starting it over with uh, CO2. Other than that, thanks for watching. Peace.